There are multiple ways to distribute your Qualtrics project, and they can be found under the Distributions tab. The first way to distribute your project that I'm going to discuss is the anonymous link. The anonymous link is the single reusable link or URL used to take the survey. This link can be distributed via the AMC email. As I mentioned, it is a reusable link. So if a respondent forwards the link to another person, that second person can also take the survey. There are no limits to how many times a respondent can use the anonymous link. Scrolling down the list of options on the left-hand side, I'm going to next discuss the QR code. A QR code is a type of matrix barcode you can print out and make available to others. The QR code is linked to the anonymous link. People can scan or download the code and it provides a link to the project. Some examples of how a QR code is used here at AMC is for taking attendance and for CME. Next, scrolling slightly up on the left-hand side, I'm going to talk about Qualtrics emails. Emails can be sent out through Qualtrics, which will allow you to track completion. Distributing through a Qualtrics email gives a slightly different URL for each person. This is why you are able to track completion. Additionally, you can schedule reminder and thank you emails through the Qualtrics email. This form of distribution is still anonymous as you are not tracking data, just completion. To start a Qualtrics email, click on the Compose Email button. You'll wish to add your contacts or these people, the people you wish to send your survey to. The only requirement for creating a contact list is the person's email. Names are not necessary. Manual entry defaults to 10 rows, but you can add more by hitting the enter key. A contacts list may be created ahead of time and stored in the contacts tab. Please see the video on creating contacts list. The default time for sending the email is to send it in one hour. This time frame can be changed, including to have the option to set up the distribution to go out at a future date. Next, add a subject line. And then you can customize the email text, but you need to keep this pre-existing or pre-populated information. If you delete any of this pre-populated information, the survey will no longer work. There is an option to send a preview email button at the bottom to see how the email looks. Is the text formatted correctly? Did it send to the correct address? Does it look like it's coming from the correct address? All that would be found under the preview email. When you are ready to send it out, you can send multiple reiterations. So if when I'm ready to send it out, I would click on the send in one hour button. Under once you have sent your email out, you do have a few details that you can look for, at for more information. So once you've sent it, you have the option to download history. That will give you an Excel spreadsheet with start or completion dates for each respondent. And as I mentioned earlier, there's an option to schedule reminder and thank you emails. Again, all these can be found under the drop down once you have sent your email. Here are a few key takeaways from distribution.